Hi everyone, this is Cheryl the CraftNet32 and today I'm here to share with you a haul. Um, back in August, at the end of August was my birthday and I received some money so I placed a fun scrapbooking haul. And it's really late, I held on to my money, um, I couldn't decide what I wanted to order for about three weeks or so, just kind of humming and hawing. I always kind of want to make sure I'm getting exactly what I want so I'm really kind of just slow in going over all the different sites and local scrapbook stores and that kind of stuff. So I finally decided on this. Um, this is a collective haul. This order here is from Simon Says Stamps and then I have an order just beside me from Custom Crops. And this Simon Says, Simon Says Stamps order was huge. I, uh, well for me, it had a lot of really fun stuff and I've really been enjoying creating mini albums and getting some pictures and books and making books for people. Um, but this one's going to be for me. I got the um, Teresa Collins He Said, She Said collection and a couple of extra stamps to go on the side. <laughs> you can't do an order without a couple of fun stamps. So I'm going to start with the stamps and I'm going to leave the He Said, She Said. Um, so one of the stamps that I got also were a Teresa Collins and I got it just for scrapbooking. Um, I showed this one in my last video I had used a couple of, oh, for the title, Always and Forever. I've used a couple of these stamps, they've been sitting here for about a month, I've been wanting to do this haul video before I put everything away, but I have used it um, a couple of times I think, and I love them. I mainly bought it for this stamp here, and I thought that would be so much fun. I want to get the Lawn Fawn uh, journaling die and make some of my own little journaling cards with some of this beautiful paper that I've been getting over the last little while. Not all of them has like a, a sheet of tags and even if they do I kind of use them up quickly. It'd be nice to have some for the end. But this would be really fun. Um, just for mini albums, for journaling spots, that kind of stuff. Scrapbooking pages. I thought it was really really nice. It's not too feminine or anything like that. It's you know you can use it for any day, any month, any time, so I really liked it. The only thing I'd have to do is put the year in. So that's one Teresa Collins stamp set. The second stamp set I got was, sorry, this first one that I showed you was Memories. The second one is Family Stories. And I really liked it. I thought this would be cute for cards. I love the arrow. I love the R story. Another arrow all about us today. I thought this would be really sweet for journaling spots. We are a family and I was going to get this paper line before I discovered the he said, she said. Um, but when I was looking they didn't have everything that I wanted in stock. And there was a lot of pages with pink. Um, so I thought like a family with boys and girls but having three boys I kind of wanted just to keep it nice. Um, and I just felt there was a lot of pink on this and I ultimately decided on the he said, she said because I just all around liked it better but this was a really fun paper line and so I was kind of humming and hawing between that but this is the stamp set that goes with that paper line um, then I got the life is a journey Simon says stamp stamp set and I have used it a couple of the little flowers I've been making some Thanksgiving cards and some happy fall cards and I thought this was really cute I don't have any kind of background stamps so I thought that would be fun and then I also thought for scrapbooking, life is a journey. I love the you are the best. Thank you. And then for everything, um, can go even inside a card. And then for next summer, or if I have some friends traveling, I can make them a cute little card. I don't have any sentiments like that. But I really just love the flowers. I've been watching some of the Simon Says Stamps videos. And some really pretty sweet little cards have been created with these little flowers. And... I have been eyeing it for a long time, so I decided to get it. I also got the Flower Friend, and this one's been around for a while, um, but again, I loved it. I love the leaves. I have used it for a Thanksgiving card. It's kind of yellowish now, um, but it's really pretty. I love the font, just because you're amazing for a friend. Thank you so much. Sending hugs, cute. Even the With Sympathy, it's really nice to have some different kind of sentiments with that. Um, and it's a beautiful font that has been chosen. Hello Spring for next year. Um, even the two in the from, you can create some really pretty tags. And I like the scallops for around the edge, but 
All around, I've been wanting this one for a while too. I've seen some really pretty things made with the stamp set on YouTube, so I am really happy that I got this. Um, and now on to the He Said, She Said. This was the main part of my birthday haul. So I guess I'll start with the stamp. I love the coordinating stamp set because then um, I can make coordinating journaling cards. I love this little part for um, just a little, you know, journaling card or corner. Love the mustache. That'll be some fun cards. My son, we have a fir our first male teacher this year, so it's nice. I can do some fun cards coordinated or, you know, geared to men. Um, a lot easier. I don't really have a lot of that for stamping. But I love it says, my guy, you said, so that would be even cute, just above the journaling spot here. This question and answer is a separate stamp from the speech bubble, and I love both of them. At first online, I thought it was one, but it is two, so that's really cool. Um, and you are here, here's the story. I love all the arrows, and again, another journaling spot for a date. And this one has the year, so bonus. <laughs> But I love it. You can just keep this paper line going if you use it sparingly, that kind of thing. So love having the stamps. Um, I did get the 12, our 6x6 paper pack. And it does have some different ones than the 12x12 12 12 kit. Um, so I'll just kind of love that page. And this one is double-sided. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Love this. And these are great for cards too. That's mainly why I bought the 6x6 was for card making. Um, maybe some smaller spots for journaling um, in a mini album, but primarily for card making. And a lot of it's really busy, but it would be nice just to layer it. And I think that's it. It just repeats itself again. But really cute. Really have liked it. I got some... What are these? Decorative buttons. So these are look like chipboard pieces. But they do have it. It'd be really cute. They had twine. And I didn't get the twine. I re <laughs> immediately regretted it. So this one has, says, he said, this one has the pattern on it, um, just fun stuff, wonderful, dapper, boy, and I love this, look at that, <laughs> and then some actual buttons, the colors coordinate with the cardstock, really pretty, then I got some um, chipboard embellishments, haven't taken it out because some of them have begun to pop off. So I'm just going to leave it in until I'm ready to use it. And I love this little piece here. Some more buttons, a nice big chipboard um, speech bubble. All of the days of the week, he said seriously. And that's hilarious because my boys, my oldest son says this all the time. Seriously. So when I saw that, it cracked me up. So I have to scrapbook a page with his picture with that. <laughs> Um, a movie reel, um, boy handsome, and I, my boys are always funny because every morning they ask if they have anything on their faces, we'll leave the house, and it's like, nope, just handsomeness, so I always say they're handsome little guys, so boy handsome fit perfectly, so a fun little embellishment piece, and I've never had anything like this before, so it'll be interesting to use it, I'm kind of excited, oh, and the mustache, forgot about that, it'd be really cool to create some background paper, with the stamp set that coordinates and then have this as a focal point with a sentiment that'd be really fun actually then I got the I'm gonna I guess zoom out I don't need to lift it up there we go I got the sticker page I love that it has the alphabet stickers this will be great for um, creating mini albums and scrapbook layouts really nice big long border piece down here and right here this one's a banner this one's a scallop so love them I love the little banner pieces. This one right here, I'm, I'm not sure if you can see very well. It's a tab piece, and there are several little tab pieces. And then these ones up here also, you could put, create little tabs for um, liquid journaling cards, pull out stuff. I love it. Ultimately, when I realized what these were, it was kind of hard seeing online. I was looking on my iPad, so not the best quality. Um, 
a great quality, but you know what I mean, not a very big screen. And then I realized what those were, and that's what sold me on getting this. So, oh, that's perfect. My handsome guy. So I'm definitely going to use that on a scrapbooking page. So I want to create a mini album and scrapbook with it, so I really want this paper to stretch. <laughs> and then I did order the 12 by 12 this, I took it out of the bag. The bag was really like sticky and tight to get everything in and out of. So this is a perforated car, a piece of cardstock for journaling cards. And I love the banner pieces. It has journaling spots. Um, just a great all-around page. I love it. And then here's the first page, and it's really, like, really thick, thick cardstock. So it would be, it's going to be really nice working with it. I've been, like I said, I've had it for a while, and I've just been kind of humming and hawing what it is I'm going to do with it. Um, it's almost kind of hard to cut into it for the first time. And this is double-sided as well. I love that. It's nice on the bigger page. It's not so busy, but the colors are so nice. You can distress it, or you can just leave it as is. A nice big page. Really nice. And a page of tickets. It'd be kind of nice. You could just cut down individual tickets. You could just leave it as is. And it just kind of got me all the deep, rich colors. It was leading into fall time, and I was thinking ahead. So nice, we have like first day of school pictures that this would be great for color scheme wise. And so that is the stamps, um, not stamps, my Simon Says Stamps haul. And uh, just move everything out of the way. I wasn't planning on making a second haul, but last week, maybe a week and a half ago, um, Custom Crops had a clearance sale. And in it, they had some ink, and the ink was, I don't know, like three fifty, and I just thought you can't go wrong with that. So I got some soft apricot. I really was, I wanted this one anyway, so it was really nice getting it cheap. Um, this one is Red Royal, a mid tone, forever green, and I wanted this one also. I have some really nice, pretty light blues, and it's nice to have a darker blue for layering and things like that. And this is navy. So super excited to get those, even with the shipping. It came in a little box all the way to Canada, and the shipping was under $4 for what you see here. So really impressed, very happy. I've been making some more, not some more, but I've been making quite a few lately rolled roses and rolled flowers using my hot glue gun. I wanted these. I saw them at Michael's, and I thought they're a little bit more than what I wanted to pay. And I think these were like $1.50. I should have had my receipt. Anyways, really cheap. I didn't want to pass up. On those and then a stitch it mat I wanted one of these a piercing mat sorry I've been wanting one of these for a long time I pierce things here and there and I kind of started off on my mat but then I lift it up in the air trying to stab it so I have ruined some things here and there so I'm really happy to have these and so that is my hauls now I can put everything away it's been sitting I have a little spot on top of where I keep my spare paper, scrap paper, rather, and so now it can go away. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you're all having a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye!